This video is for entertainment purposes only. Today we're going to talk about how to avoid stock market crash by using five ETFs. The first one we reviewed in this series was the SPY ETF. Today I'm going to review the QQQ. To know exactly how to spot a coming stock market crash, how to avoid it, and when to get back in. The stock market crash, of course, that's coming is caused by COVID and also a new presidency under Joe Biden with new policies and of recovery from all the stimulus spending. Unfortunately, these stock market crashes do happen at regular times throughout history. We've seen ones in the more recent past from 1987 to 2001 to 2008. And I also want to show you how you would have known that the 2020 stock market pullback when COVID first appeared was only temporary. So you could have stayed into your investments and reaped those big profits as a return to greater heights than ever before. I'm Lynn Pearson with 60 Perfect and thank you for being here today. We help you to get that money flowing. So please subscribe, hit the bell and give this video a like if you're excited about learning how to avoid stock market crashes. So this is a great strategy using QQQ when you're in your 40s, 50s or 60s. When you're younger, it makes more sense to keep putting money in index fund like ETF and be able to buy it during a stock market crash because those shares will be on sale and they'll go up over time eventually and you'll be able to reap greater profits. When we're in our 40s, 50s, or 60s, we get much more nervous about a stock market crash that could last for five years, 10 years, or longer. So again, I'm gonna show you how to avoid that. And during this series, I'll take you into those five ETFs. Today, we're gonna to look at the QQQ. It's a great ETF to invest in if you don't have the time to sit there and track the stock market's ups or downs on a daily basis, because it has trended up over time, and I'll show that to you today too. So before we go into my computer, when I'll take you through the QQQ, make sure and go to Weeble when this video is done and get your four free stocks. It's at least worth $20 for the four free stocks. So you get a 20% return immediately when you deposit $100. The QQQ is an excellent ETF for the strategy because it is a broad market index fund. Also, the QQQ ETF is one of the best volumes for any stock or ETF on the stock market. This means that you can easily trade in and out during a stock market crash. The QQQ made wide price rings over time enabling outsized profits. So let's go into my computer and I'll show you how to avoid stock market crashes. I'm going to take you into QQQ now. First of all, I'm going to give you a 30 second overview of the QQQ ETF, just so you know some fundamentals. You can see as of January 21st, 2021, it had a dividend yield of 0.55% and the expense ratio is 0.20%, so it's very low. Again, I said it echoes the NASDAQ index. You can see the sector weightings over here, a lot in consumer cyclical, communication services, a real heavy two. And then some of the major holdings include Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, Facebook, Google, NVIDIA, PayPal, and Adobe. Now I'm going to take you into my E-Trade account so you can see the QQQ's chart. And I'll show you how I've discovered a way to spot stock market crashes and know when they're coming, know when to get out of your investment and exactly when to get back in. So I've got the QQQ ETF pulled up. So there's several things you want to do. In your display, you want to make sure and click the Heikonashi view. Heikonashi candlesticks are an excellent Japanese invention. They have some complex arithmetic that they go through so that the candlesticks show a trend very clearly. You'll, you'll get green candlesticks grouped together and red candlesticks grouped together. So it helps you again spot a trend. The Japanese are fantastic at doing this sort of thing. I have a whole video I've done on Heikonashi candlestick that you can view in the 60 Perfect channel. And I'll put a link to it below in the description. The other three things you need to do that are really important to be able to spot stock market crashes are to use three exponential moving averages. You set these up. I have a 100-day moving average, a 25-day moving average, and a 50-day moving average. So when you add a moving average, you want to put the period in it. So one of them is 100, and then you put exponential for the type. And you can see here the yellow is the 25-day moving average, the lavender is the 50-day moving average, and the 100 is the 
Uh, the blue is 100-day moving average. So what I look for long-term severe stock market crash is if the 25-day moverage, when you're looking at the chart in the weekly view only, because the day view is going to be much more choppy, I've found that you'll have much more consistent returns in trading if you stick with looking at a chart in the weekly time view. So with the weekly chart view open, then you want to look for if the 25-day moving average is going to break over the 50-day moving average and the 100-day moving average, then you've got a serious, more likely longer-term crash on your hands. You can see that did not happen earlier in 2020. That's why it showed it was a short-lived correction. So it pulled back, but none of the 25-day didn't break over any of them. And then you can see going back, it would have enabled you to stay in this ETF, which was made you 163% increase since 2017. And it's now at $326 a share. So if you go back, you can see during the pullback also in 2018, it also did not break over the 100-day moving average. So you would have stayed in through that also. And what we're going to do now is we're going to scroll back. We can see that the 20-day moving average is staying above the other two. And we're going to go all the way back to 2008, which is really important because that was a major stock market crash. And you'll be able to see that clearly. So in 2008, right at the beginning of the year, the 25-day moving average crossed over the 50-day moving average. It still did not cross over the 100 until here. This was in 9-21-2008. It crossed over at closed around $41 per share. So you would have gotten out then and you, then you would have gotten back in when the blue Heikinashi candlesticks cross above the 100-day moving average. And that would have been right here at $38 per share. So you would have an opportunity to stay away from losses and be able to make some good money in the recovery as well. And then prior to that, again, got out about 41 and way back in 2001, you can see it didn't cross in any of this time period below. So 2001 was a really bad long one, but the break occurred right around here when it would have crossed over the 100-day moving average. The 25-day moving average crossed over the 50 and the 100-day moving average at about $61 a share. Then you would have gotten back in and stayed out quite a while because this was a long crash. You would have gotten back in when the 100-day moving average crossed over that $33 per share. You had the opportunity then to get back in and recover that growth all over again. The other thing you can look at is getting into an inverse ETF at the same time that you get out of one of these ETFs for the same time period. If you would like to have me review that for you as well, let me know. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, give this video a like, and ring that bell so you get notified about the rest of this stock market protection series. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.